Alright guys, I'm back. I've got Ironhide transformed, so we're going to go ahead and do part two of the Leader Class Ironhide review. Got one still in robot mode just to compare the size, show you how awesome the engineers are at hiding the robots. There's robot mode, there's vehicle mode. If you didn't know it was a transformer and you weren't holding it in your hand looking at the bottom, you wouldn't know that this is a transformer. They hide these giant robots so nicely in these vehicles, it's amazing to me. Just wanted to point out how seamless it is. It's just, to me, it's amazing how they can do that. But that's enough of me raving about that. Let me go ahead and just get into the review of the vehicle mode. As you can see, the truck bed is filled in. It's really got no kibble, just these body parts that hang underneath. So I guess it's kibble a little bit, but it kind of looks like it could just be the guts of the truck a little bit. So I can forgive them for that. You can still see Ironhide's head in there. Still a problem with this. It doesn't stay closed in any mode. So it's kind of a problem. But that's really the only problem I have. If they had blacked out the windows, that would have been cool with me. But no big deal again. They kind of look like seats in there a little bit, sort of, I guess. But either way. Um, there's not a whole lot of paint app on the wheels. Almost none. Actually, I think it is none. They could have used a little bit, even though they're supposed to be black. A little bit of shading or something would have been nice. The 4x4 logo is good. The GMC logo is good. You've got clear side markers, clear headlights. Got molded road armor and, um, what does that say? Another road armor logo on there. No paint on those, though. Clear fog lamps. Side mirrors don't have any paint on them for the mirror. The Autobot logo is all black. Maybe it's like that in the movie. I'm not sure. But it is on here. The uh, taillights are painted with the uh, silver guards on them. So that's a nice detail. Get it in focus. 4x4 four four logo again. Smokestacks are gray. You can see a little bit of the kibble inside above the wheel, so I don't care for that. But, yeah, big deal. Not too bad. Front end looks really nice. It's just a really great figure, and just like in robot mode, I didn't mention that the second gun gets worked out by the smokestack, but they both do again in vehicle mode. So, you can do that. I don't really care for this gun that much in vehicle mode or robot mode, so I wouldn't mind just leaving it hidden. And this gun looks a lot more smooth and seamless. You can kind of see the panels for that gun on here. It doesn't close perfectly. This one hides a lot better, even though the gun's not as good. That's about it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about this figure. I don't see any mech tech ports. I could be wrong. Gas cap on there. But I don't see any mech tech ports, so that's kind of a downfall, I guess. He's good. He does have these two, like I said, but there's no mech tech ports in there either. So if you're really into the mech tech thing, then you might be disappointed. If you're like me and don't care about mech tech, then you won't be disappointed because you don't care. So, I'm going to give this vehicle mode, it rolls nicely. I'm going to give this vehicle mode 9.75 out of 10. If it had a little bit more detail, like in the wheels, and a little less kibble, it'd be perfect. It's really great. It's a really nice truck. So if it had those two things accounted for... Easy 10 out of 10 for this one. Without a doubt, go pick up Leader Class Iron Height. You will not be disappointed. It's a great figure, hands down. Po possibly the best one, in my opinion, it is the best one so far, but that's up for up to you to decide. So there you have it. There's Leader Class Iron Height Part 2. All done, all wrapped up. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more reviews, and in the meantime, keep collecting.